Welcome to the channel Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Now who's out there trying to be better than what they were yesterday? Did you take a bath today? Did you take one yesterday? Did you wake up and you iron your clothes, get them together, lay them out so you can get dressed for the day? Well, see, I'm going to say happy holy day to all of y'all. One thing about life, God give, give you a life to live, right? God said, I'm going to give y'all this life and I want y'all to live it abundantly. I want you to live in peace and harmony with one another. And I'm going to make sure that everything be all right. All y'all got to do is show the love. But when you start being hard here, stiff neck and showing that hate, I'm going to set some fire to that cocktail. That's a deep thing. Because the life we got, it ain't even our life. If the life was given to you, see, life, is everything that is, was, and evermore will be living in harmony. That's life. God, God is Allah. Allah is all of wisdom, will, and love. All of wisdom, will, and love. All of wisdom, will, and love. It's a triumph of Allah. See, in order to live Allah in man, you must be able to demonstrate the triumph, the wisdom, will, and the love. Chosen ones. You know about the wisdom, the will, and the love. You stand up in your greatness, purity at heart, Learn for the, to live for the Allah in man, the all of everything that is, was, and evermore will be. Find that ear to hear, that third eye to see, that heart to sympathize, and that power to save yourself. Use the correct words. Words save, create, and destroy. I use a lot of words that people never use. It's an honor to meet people and greet them in your highness. You use those words to create a new world order of love, peace, and harmony. See, we are creators. See, and if we greet each other, how you doing, your highness? That'll trigger a certain dopamine in your brain to raise the substance to a higher state of consciousness. See, because you create, you're planting that seed, you're creating that thought. You are a creator. Why would you want to create hell? Most people wake up with the thoughts of how they are going to deceive the people around them. For money. Now, if you wake up and you see how can you help people and money's not a factor and I'm going to be there and I'm going to show that unconditional love then you are creating what is called heaven see we create our own heaven is hell is not a, up and, or below or a place of meat or bounds Heaven is hell is your state of mind. 
in the state of existence that you choose to live in. I choose to live in a loving state. So if you come around me, you're going to get loving words, kind words. I'm not going, what you want? What you coming over here for? No, I don't want none of that. No, I don't live uh, with dogs, <laughs> animals. See, they call us animals. Mm -mm, I don't agree with them. I can prove them wrong when right is what you proving them. See, when a dog's standing up barking at a lion, and that lion walk away, that dog better turn around and go the other way. Because if you mess around and catch up with that lion, and he done walked away from you, your ass going to be out. Learn to live with a lion and a lamb can lay down together and both wake up and neither one of them be harmed in the morning. See, that's how I choose to live. I don't want to live amongst a bunch of people and you lay down and you don't know what happened in the middle of the night, who took what, who stole what, where your clothes at, where your drawers at, where this at. I ain't got time for all that. See, that's the evil and wicked people. I mean, ask yourself. Do you wake up every morning trying to figure out how I'm going to deceive somebody or how I'm going to screw over your girlfriend, your friends, your children, your mother, your father, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your boss? Have you ever thought about just working with people? See, learn to work with people, work together. If you work in love, in harmony, we can build, boy, it's been up oh, there 36,000 years since a pyramid building built. Or probably longer. And, and, and wait a minute. And a whole lot of Israelites and Hebrewites and Canaanites and Amorites and, and Hittites and all of you rights are still in the wilderness. Don't wait nowhere to roam and don't know where you're home. The trials and tribulations we go through lot in life, why do we put ourselves through it? If you are a creator, change your thoughts. Change your mindset. Set your mind, just like you set your car and drive and hit that gas pedal and set the cruise control. Set your mind and drive and quit putting it in reverse. And jumping lanes and switching with no blinkers and, and all of that. And you, not even the crash test dummy, you the crash test car. You the crash test vehicle. The body is a vehicle. It's a temple. It's supposed to be protected and respected. When you wake up every morning... You should keep your heart and mind pure with love and your body clean with water. Then present yourself to yourself. And if you're not presentable to yourself for yourself, then go get redressed and refresh yourself until you satisfied. Now, if you satisfied with the way you look every day, I am too. And I'm satisfied with the way I look every day. And you should be too. Because we had all had the same choices. You made your choice. I made mine. So don't never get upset. When you see people gifted. 
chosen, standing up in their purpose, knowing what they have to do. Don't get mad at them because you can do the same thing. Everybody has the ability to have a clear, and I mean a clear, conception of the work that they are called to do on this plane of things may manifest. And if you've been here for as long as you've been here and you don't have a clear conception of the work that you are called to do by now, ask yourself what you've been doing. Because I can show you a 12-year-old that demonstrated the most profound measure ever. And y'all call him Jesus. And he had a clear conception of the work that he was called to do when he was 12 years old. And everywhere he went, he said, am I not about my father's work? Now, when is you going to be about any work other than that dollar work? Oh, that's the in God I tr you trust. In God we trust on a dollar. Now they want to put a barcode on your hand. No, they should put in God we trust on your chest. See, when I go to work for you or whatever to do something for you, you should put my name on your chest and say in God you trust. And trust the God in me. Because I'm the one going to do the work. <laughs> Stand up within your greatness. Everybody out there. Everybody out there. Just think about the ideals. And the dreams that you had. That you did not bring to life. Think about the opportunities that you passed up. The people you mishandled. And you lost connection with them. Because you didn't know how to handle them properly. Grown folks need to grow up. And I always say, grow up, grown folks. Grown ups, grow up. When are you going to mature? I mean, I, I, if I'm growing a plant and it's supposed to bud in four months and it ain't, and I it's oh, six months overdue, it's gonna have to go. Get on your job. Show your beauty. Stop being that bud. Unfold. Show that flower. How beautiful, how bright of a light can you shine? It's a beautiful, bright light in everybody. But who's not afraid to shine their light? Who ain't afraid to go, go, to, cut, to go upstairs and cut the lights on in the attic? Not dare anybody. All y'all should be able to go upstairs in the attic and cut the lights on. Get them skeletons out that closet. Go upstairs in that attic in the workshop of the man and cut the lights on. If you need a generator, call me. Your mic can borrow mine. You need some extra power, I give you some power. Because I am the power. I'm your brother like no other. The best friend ever. The world's best friend. Know that. And I'm there for every living thing that is, was, evermore will be. That's a part of me. I come to all y'all in love. Unconditional love. I leave y'all in peace. It's a Friday. A lot of y'all just got paid. Enjoy yourself. Be happy. Get that happy. Get your spirit right. Get your spirit right. Because if your spirit ain't right, your heart ain't right, your money ain't going to be right, ain't shit going to be right, you might not make it through the night. I come to y'all in love. I leave you in peace. I'm out.